Hello everybody, my name is Chubby Emu. Did you get last place in the daily? Did you get murdered by Little Hunter? Are you struggling with Big Dog? Did the throne run you over? Or can you not even kill Big Bandit? Well, you're in luck because today I have the top five tips on how you can improve your nuclear throne game. Tip number five, don't be a dirty casual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Real tip number five, make sure you know the game's mechanics. Opening portals explode cars. Trigger finger stacks with multiple kills in a single shot. Jackhammer is the best weapon to kill Little Hunter. Impact wrists is good early in the game, bad in the middle, and great in the loop. Bloodlust is essential for some characters. Don't have explosive weapons without boiling veins. A run without insta-get protection is doomed to fail. The wrench one-shots ravens with scarier face. The shovel one-shots crystals with scarier face. Uber cops shoot missiles. Golden snow tanks shoot missiles. Second stomach is the best insurance policy you can get. And you you have a 100% chance of dying in this game. That's cheating, that's like 15 tips in one. Tip number four, if you are brand new to this game, I encourage you to pick one character and stick with it for at least 15 to 20 hours of playtime. My personal recommendation is Crystal. Do not pick any characters that die very quickly. These characters include Melting, Rogue, Rebel, also YV is questionable. Because this video is mainly on tips on how to improve your own playing, I'm saying that's why you should pick one character and stick with 15 to 20 hours of gameplay. Now, if you're brand new to this game and you're still exploring, by all means, try out all the characters. Knock yourself out. But when you want to get good, you want to play the same character and you want to get really good at it. Fun fact, when I played the game, I think I might have spent about 150 hours at first playing just steroids. Steroids is a solid character in the early game. It's a little bit more questionable in the late game compared to some of the other characters. Tip number three. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of shade for this. My tip for number three is to take Gamma Guts or more generally, take a mutation that damages enemies when you get hit. Meaning you would take Gamma Guts or Sharp Teeth. The reason I say this is because the reason you're probably not getting far in the game is because you're dying. The reason that you're dying is that you're getting hit. When you get hit, you take damage. So if you get in a position where you can do some damage while you get hit, there is a chance that you could do better in the game. By taking Gamma Guts in the desert as your first mutation if it pops up means that you can kill Big Bandit without ever having to shoot at it. Now you'll have to be careful because when he starts shooting at you or when he starts charging, you're probably gonna die. Furthermore, you can also go into the sewers without firing at anything. And the rats can't damage you. Even in the stockyards, the ravens also die when you touch them. Finally, the reason that you would take sharp teeth or gamma guts is that in the loop, the jungle flies and the maggots, the maggots die immediately on contact. This is hugely important for the loop. As of this recording, we're on update 95. <laughs> if you don't agree, leave me a comment. But Gamma Guts is my favorite mutation. Tip number two, don't get baited by items. I can't tell you how many times I see ammo, health packs, and rats, and I wanna get them. But there's all this fire coming towards me. You can't take it. Say you're in the loop. You try to take it, you're gonna die. Then you have to spend another 15 minutes, if you're lucky on the first try, to even get back to where you were. Rather than if you just waited for five more seconds, you could have grabbed all of that stuff on your own. Or better yet, just take plutonium hunger, fuck it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't get baited by items. And finally, tip number one. You're just watch me play, right? No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. Actually, tip number one, record yourself playing. It's extremely important to be able to see how you move, to see your bad habits that you pick up in the game, and to see the reasons why you die. Remember, this is a game where you have a 100% chance of dying. So the best course of action is to see the reasons that you die and don't do the things that happen. Now granted, I know sometimes there's situations that you can't control that you're gonna die no matter what. But that's not always the case, let's be honest. I know some of you people have spent five hours respawning in the desert. Admit it, because I know I have. But recording yourself is actually amazingly very easy. It's actually free to do. I'm gonna leave you a software link 
in the description below. There's a program called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. It's what people use to record to put on YouTube. It's also what people use to stream games on Twitch. By using OBS, you can actually take a video of your entire screen while you're playing the game. It captures everything, and you'll be able to watch the way that you play from beginning to end. Remember, our goal here is to enhance the way you play, is to increase your kill count, and to get you further in the game. Once you're able to assess the mistakes that you've made, you'll be in a better position to enhance your numbers and to have more fun with this game. One little thing could end your entire game. Because remember, you have a 100% chance of dying. And those are the five tips on how you can improve your Nuclear Throne game. Like this video if you learned something new about the game. Leave me a comment if you disagree with one of the tips. Subscribe today if you'd like to see more. My Nuclear Throne series will feature videos with a thousand kills or more, typically. And trust me, I've had more than 500 hours behind this game. <laughs> I've played it a little too much in the last six months. I hope these tips were helpful for you, and I hope to see you in the daily leaderboards top 10. Thanks so much for watching this video. There are a few other ones that I think you might like. Maybe one up here, and maybe one up here. And these were videos that were made by me. They pertain to Nuclear Throne or also maybe some other games that you might be interested in. Also, be sure to connect with me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm always on. I'm, I love connecting with you guys. To me, it's a whole bunch of fun. You guys are great. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.